are here, the Rosie Hour podcast, uh, with one of the most amazing divas, a lawyer, a coach, fitness, health and wealth. Uh, she's been always one of my like sort of like heroes in life. Always looked at her like fashion and also like how to be like just the it girl. Because every time I saw you, you would just be like, yes. Like walking down the hallways at work, I used to be like, I want to be that fashionable. Oh, so. You're so sweet. You're so sweet. <laughs> but you know, I'm real. You know, I'm serious. So, yes. so excited to have you here today. Thank Rachel. you for having me. So, Brittany, tell everybody who you are, what you do, and like, how did you get into like being an attorney and a fitness coach? Sure. So, hi, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for having me, Renee. Um, so yes, I, um, I'm an attorney. Um, I work in um, real estate law and affordable housing development. And um, recently, I um, obtained a bar fitness certification. Um, and kind of, well, the legal piece was, as you know, many years in the making. <laughs> many. Um, I've been an attorney for over 10 years now, about 12 years now. Um, so that's a long process. Glad the process is over. But is it ever really over? <laughs> I know. Um, and so actually it was in law school when, um, I started to get really into health and fitness and wellness and, um, throughout. So since law school, it's kind of been a fitness journey. And as most people know, you know, fitness isn't just a one stop you know, thing. It's an ongoing, lifelong journey. Um, as a woman, you know, you have different life events that happen. Um, for me, um, I recently um, had another child um, last December. And so for me, my fitness journey is starting back up again. And so um, I really got into bar fitness um, with this um, fitness journey with um, with my daughter and um, you know losing the um, the pregnancy weight and just getting back fit and getting my strength back up and so I really fell in love with bar fitness because it's a fusion of ballet which I have a dance background um, so it's a fusion of ballet yoga and Pilates um, and also strength so you'll notice if you've ever been to a bar class, um, you'll have mats, you'll have light weights, um, and then you'll also have the bar like you see in ballet. And it's nothing to be intimidated about. If you don't have a dance background, that's fine because the movements are just very simple movements that kind of are inspired by dance, but it's not necessarily, you know, like you're doing ballet dance. So. Sometimes folks get a little intimidated, like, bar, well, I have, I've never done ballet, I've never done dance. You don't have to have a dance background to do bar fitness. What I like about it, especially for women who are new to a fitness journey or you're starting back up with the fitness journey like I am, it's, um, it's uh, low impact. Uh, so you don't have to worry and stress out about injuries. And if you wanna take things slow, you can do that. But you also have a flexibility, like the classes that I like to teach and um, participate in as it relates to bar, are cardio bar, where you can kind of have some of the more cardio movements, um, like squats and lunges and stuff that are moving squats, moving lunges, jump squats even, but still um, remaining true to the bar fitness where you're not kind of overdoing it or overexerting. So I just really um, latched on to that at, at this point in my fitness journey and you still see really great results. You're, you're still lengthening and strengthening and toning your muscles um, and you're still breaking a sweat. You're still burning calories. Um, Which is important. Yeah, in my um, bar fitness class um, for 30 to 45 minutes, I'm burning 300, 250 to 300 calories. So that's not bad for a, a strength-based yeah. class, and it's a supplement. So, you know, you may wanna incorporate bar fitness into your weekly training schedule, like two or three times a week. And then the other times you may wanna do HIIT or, you know, more cardio intensive. It's up to you, but 
Um, for me, I like it as a nice supplement to just kind of get you back in the groove. Wow. So. Okay, <laughs> so like bar one, it's like a bar one, I'm not sure. <laughs> A joke out of like the bars that Peter Thomas owned, but like it's crazy because I would have never thought it was about like dancing and strength training, right? Mm -hmm. Like you hear bar and I think like oh it's gonna be like you're doing a lot of like movement with an actual bar. Oh, you know I what see. I mean? So like to hear it's like that like I've never actually did any research into it, so yeah. it's good to hear mm -hmm. what it actually entails, and I think a lot yeah. of people probably don't know that. So like. Thank you for going into details and like really talking about it because I don't think people yeah. like they, the name is intimidating. Like, yeah, bar. it's funny because when I went to get my bar certification, my parents, I told my parents, I was like, oh, I just got my bar certification. They're like, oh, great. Which state? Or, or right now, are you bar in? Are you got license <laughs> in another state? And I was like, no, bar fitness, like B A R R E. Like the bar, like the dance bar. And they were like, oh, okay. Still makes sense. I mean, you're, um, you're like <laughs> barred up, you know? Right. <laughs> so definitely opportunity to play on words with the legal field, bar, bar. I mean, you're you supposed know? to be barred everywhere and right. barred and everything. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. So like this fitness journey and like congratulations uh, on your 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 new addition to the family, the Thank baby. You. She's adorable. If you Thank have not you. seen her, Thank uh, you so much. she's very very gorgeous, magical little baby. Thank um, you. Very very precious little thing. Oh, thank you. Um, but a lot of people have this like whole like you're supposed to snap back in like a couple weeks after having a baby. Mm -hmm. That's not true, is it? Well, for some people it is, and and that's great. Good for them. Um, for some people, it takes a little bit longer. For some people, it's it's not a one size fits all. You know, there may be some women who may <coughs> excuse me who may appear to snap back physically, but they may still be having some challenges um, on the mental side. Mm -hmm. And there may be women vice versa who may not appear to have snap, which I hate that term. I do. But I hate it too. Who have you know, who may appear to not have, you know, lost the pregnancy weight, but they may be feeling excellent. They may be feeling great. Um, so it's, every woman is different and every woman has challenges as it relates to that. And so it's just important to be sensitive to each woman's journey, health, fitness, and wellness journey. Um, because it, it just is different. From Everyone has, has their own time, space, and how yeah. it happens. I see some hearts going up. So, <laughs> yes, people love the fact that, like, we're all on... It's just like life. We're all on this yeah. journey, uh, you know, life individually, you know, collectively. But, like, everybody's process is different. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. And, and it's important, too, to not compare um, your journey with someone else's journey because you never know what people are going through um, behind closed doors. That's true. I mean, you may see someone that looks like, oh my gosh, they um, just had a baby and it looks like they didn't have a baby and they look great, but um, you know, you just never know what's going on. Yeah, there um, might be health challenges, mental right. health challenges. Like there's a whole bunch of things that people do not talk about, they go undiagnosed or, you know, it's just not, you know, in conversation to everyone. So that that's such an important piece to it. And yeah. like this month, we're talking about health and wellness. You know, we talked to uh, OBGYN earlier this month. Mm -hmm. uh, we actually talked to a mental health specialist. We actually talked to a physical, like strength core trainer earlier this month too. And now we're talking to you with Bar mm -hmm. and also an attorney because like both of those are also mental health and also wellness, you know, components too. Yeah. Uh, that I think people do not consider in just wellness overall. Right. Right. And so, like, you are someone, I think, personally, that I know, that is, like, well-rounded in, like, your journey and just being logical, analytical, uh, mindful, and just, like, how you position, you know, just yourself in life. And, like, it's, it's good to see that and, like, how you're doing the bar fitness. And then also, like, you are an attorney, but you're dealing with, like, like, really delicate issues that people go through 
and you're still being mindful for other people and their situations. Mm -hmm. And then you have the girlfriend groups, and then mm -hmm. you have your sororities, mm -hmm. and then you have the Jack and Jill's and all these other things, and your family. You are able to compartmentalize and deal with things, and like you still have time to get a certification and be a bar instructor. How do you do it? <laughs> I know I got tired just listening to it all. I'm I like, ran for like minute. a good eight minutes. Like, I, I've not even touched the, like, real core of her resume. And, like, you are doing it effortlessly. And, like, again, of course I don't know what I don't know. But, like, as a friend, I see you and I'm just like, I want to be like that. Oh, I appreciate that. So how That's do you? So yeah. Um, I think, um, honestly, my faith in God um having a a strong prayer life and uh, i'm a big um proponent of faith and so that is something that has consistently kept me grounded and allowed me to have the strength um and a lot of times courage <laughs> to do different things that that i've wanted to do in life so that's first and foremost um, also, I gotta give a shout out to my hubby Rob, who holds me shout down. Shout out, Rob! <laughs> um, and he also is very supportive. Um, I, I wouldn't be able to do half the things that that I've done without his support. Because, like with the bar fitness, you know, somebody's got to hold the babies down while I'm out here um, taking a, you know, however many hours it was, a, all day, you know, situation. Um, so definitely don't, I, I do not do it alone. Um, I have a lot of help and a lot of support, um, that like keeps me grounded and, and keeps me able to, to keep going. <laughs> well, well, shout out to Rob and we see comments here. Um, yep. Right. is a little small at that age where I can't read everything, but it says you are amazing, Brittany. So yes. And then, um, and also the question is, can a woman and a mom do it all from Dancer Fit by Dion? So oh, let's see you. Our, our girl Dion. Yes, who was on the show yeah. uh, two weeks ago and we did stretch uh, and it was an, a very relaxing thing and I actually went to sleep <laughs> right, right after. I, I stretched and was stretched out. <laughs> yeah. I was knocked out. So. Yeah, that's that's a big. Um, I love stretching, and you can also incorporate that into bar um, as well because it, like I said, it touches on the yoga and the Pilates. Um, but yes, you can have it all. As was it a, a woman and a mom? Yeah, you can have it all if you want it all, and that means different things to different people. Right. You know, um, if you know. Wanting it all may be like really big, <laughs> you know. Some there's women, I mean, look at you know Kamala Harris and all these other women who are like doing huge, you know, big, big things. Um, but you know, for me, having it all means something different for me, right? I don't necessarily have to be. <laughs> The VP of the United States, I mean, that would be great. I, I, I'll I take mean, it. I mean, I'll take it. I'm working it. that campaign. I will take it. Um, <laughs> but, you know, that's that's not something that I have to have right now. So right. for me, wanting it all it means something different to me than it may mean to, to the next person. So it's all about what you want. And, um, and I, I believe that we can all achieve what we want. Um, and, yeah, I think the answer... Simply put, yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Now, when it comes to like fitness and health and wealth, um, how do you sort of like manage the bar classes? Like, how do you like continue on? Is there like different levels? You know, some some I, I know like for instance when you go to like you know hit fitness, like mm -hmm. you can do level one, level three, and like there's different levels yes. to it. Is it the same thing with bar? Yeah, and it, it really varies from instructor to instructor. Um, there's, you know, beginner, intermediate, advanced. Um, there's hybrids, like beginner, intermediate classes or more advanced classes. But that shouldn't discourage you. If you are new um, and someone's offering an advanced class, you can still take it. I mean, there's each um, fitness instructor, even outside of bar, 
um, all good fitness instructors um, will cue uh, modifications. Mm -hmm. um, so there's you know things that you can do if you don't feel quite comfortable doing a certain move or something may seem a little too advanced for you. Um, you can do a variation of the move where you're still working that same core muscle group. So there's a modifier in the room. So it's like, you know, like in the 80s movie, um, workout videos, there's always like, and yeah. watch Jill in the back. She's the modifier. Like, yeah. Slower, so there's like a person there. Okay. Yeah. But, I like the modifiers. Yeah. And, and the, the fitness instructor, you know, may even you know do the the modification while they're doing the class you know which i really appreciate that because i take um and you have a peloton too yeah um they have a really um robust bar um oh. courses on there um ali love one of my favorite peloton instructors teaches a lot of them. there's other instructors that teach too um but what i like about her is that she'll cue a modification for a more complex move, but then she'll do the modification too. So you don't feel like, uh, I gotta do the modification. Well, the, the instructor is doing the modification. Yeah, you know? I'd be like, listen, <laughs> so I am not me, built for that. I'm short, my arms don't really <laughs> go a lot of ways sometimes, so. Yeah, yeah so it, it for me, I love that because it doesn't make you feel bad or like you're not, up to par because look i mean she's an instructor and she's doing the modification yeah so um so yeah i mean I, there there are some instructors who may say okay this is a beginner class this is an advanced class but i wouldn't really pay attention to that just go take the class <laughs> okay and then you also you're saying peloton which i know we've done a class or two before mm -hmm. i'm not sure did we do a bar class because i remember there was this one class you had me do y'all I'm in my apartment, <laughs> and I think I was having an asthma attack or a panic attack, and I was just like, do I text this woman or call her? I don't know what to tell her, but I think I just died, and I resuscitated myself. Oh, my gosh. But I think it was a boot camp, and I almost died in that class, too. That was Those classes are some of the hardest classes that Peloton offers, so the fact that we even did it, is is good it's something to say listen jesus <laughs> he was calling you girl he was like come home if you want to <laughs> no i i get it those classes can be pretty intense it was and that that's like yeah. a class that like i would do something like that and then the next day i would do like a bar class <laughs> like i went to brunch <laughs> or brunch listen <laughs> but that goes to show you know this is this is results people <laughs> this is results um okay so bar you can do bar classes on peloton that's something i actually did not know um and i think a lot of people probably didn't even know and like that's huge because you don't like a lot of people have pelotons you know they're like oh well it's now like a coat rack so like yeah. you can use that now you don't have to like go find the class you can use your peloton Definitely. and actually do the bar classes and you can do it on your phone yes. if, you, if you, you don't even have to spend um you know the huge <laughs> amount of money it costs yeah. to get a bike um you can just um have the app you can pay for the app which is significantly it's like 12 dollars um, a month than, yeah. yeah and you still get all the content um, Peloton should now sponsor and pay this podcast. Uh, Hello, um, Peloton. <laughs> the more you know. Right. Because <laughs> it's definitely worth it, for yeah. sure. Yeah, I, um, I will even do a class where y'all will see Jesus' hand and reach down. <laughs> Bless your girl. Yeah. Because I'm dying. <laughs> okay, now, nutrition. And, like, you are also a very, like, what, one thing about Brittany is when we go out to eat, and it's like she's on a diet or she is in her healthy eating or it's like a, a time for her to do her cleanse. Homegirl is not messing with us. <laughs> she will come out. She will be the best of times. But she is not touching anybody's alcohol, anybody's carbs. And I'm looking at her like, <laughs> how, Satan? <laughs> like, how, do you, how do you have this kind of courage to do this? So how do you do that and have that kind of like willpower uh, to stay on your health journey? Because I'm like, well, there's a piece of toast. It's right <laughs> here. It's for me. Like, how do you do that? Um, well, I think, so 
let's roll it back a little bit. <laughs> so, so some of those times that you're talking about, I was in a competition. <laughs> so that that creates a different layer of. Um, discipline and commitment because you know you're about to go walk on somebody's stage um, so that's a little bit different Listen. I think I think now these days um, a little bit more lax <laughs> um, but you know it's again you don't you don't need to kill yourself I mean it's and it's just like just common sense stuff you know it's like People try to do these like super fancy yeah. diets and, and different, you know, programs and stuff, which that's fine. And, and some of those programs are really, really great and work really well. But if you really look at the programs, they're like at, the, at their core, they're all the same thing. You know, low fat, <laughs> you know, Low, low carb, yep. not no carb, because you do you need, need some carbs. You need carbs um, to help fuel you, and if, especially if you're working out mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So carbs are not bad, guys. It's just kind of what type of carbs are you, yeah, consuming and how many? Because me, I would eat a whole basket of bread if Jesus allowed it to just be put in front of me. That's my problem. I love carbs, though. I think we all do. Oh, I think God. we all do. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think it's just being mindful and also thinking about how certain foods and stuff make you feel. Mm -hmm. And so that kind of, um, helps me because I know whenever I like eat, you know, a really bad, not bad, but if I splurge on like fried chicken or something like that, or pizza, like I'm feeling it. Mm. You know, and so not saying that you can never have it or you're not going to have it. But you know, I'm definitely going to have, have it. Yeah. But it just kind of reframes it for you. It's like, okay, I'm not going to go crazy with this. Like I may have like, you know, maybe one piece or, you know, a couple pieces, but there's no need to like go crazy because you know how you feel. You're not going to eat the whole head of chicken. Yeah. You just have to listen, know. listen to your body and listen to um how certain things make you feel okay and yeah. you know like right now there's like this whole like mimosa bottomless mimosa world that oh, people yeah. are living in and people live for the weekend and brunch and it's like the thing everybody wants to go people love it yeah i mean we were a part of the culture at one point very heavily oh, yeah. I love a good brunch. I love I it. I love a good bottomless brunch. I mean, why not? This is DC. The, this is the, the bottomless brunch capital, capital of the world. world. Yes. yes. So, how do we have that sort of like the two hour time limit, but we know we are going too hard? Where it's like, help, like, this orange juice is not good for me. <laughs> like, I don't oh, yeah. know. That's one thing for me, though. I don't, I typically don't do the orange juice. I don't either. Yeah. yeah it, just because I stopped liking how it tastes, one, and two, it's like a it's lot. It's city. so much yeah. sugar. So much oh, sugar. Yeah. So like, it's good to then like swap out juices. Yeah. Maybe pace yourself. Yeah. You know, it's good to, you know, get down with your homies, but like maybe like. And then just, and you always talk about staying hydrated. Like if. If you know you're going to a bottomless brunch, you know you're going to a big party and whatever, just stay hydrated. Like, drink a lot of water. You know, I tell everybody, bring your water bottles. Yeah, it's... Bring your water bottle. It's true. Yeah. It's true. And it helps. Because I'm not... You're not getting in my car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you. Yeah. So yeah, but that. nothing's wrong with a, a little bottomless brunch here and there. Okay. Okay, so what is what's your favorite go-to brunch spot in DC? If you oh have to pick, gosh. okay, I'll give you two, top two. <laughs> like it's you and Rob, no kids, and then the girls. Hmm, that's a good question because I feel like I I still like a lot of the old DC spots. Yeah, and and DC has just become such a restaurant. Yeah. Um, I mean, it always was, but like now on Instagram, like every day I'm seeing a new mm -hmm. spot pop up or a new, you know, hot spot. Um, so I feel like 
I'm like trying to think of a new spot because I'm like I don't want to no, say no, no, go I don't want to say like go a, what you know. my old spot. Um, go with what you know. Okay, so I still like L'Oreal, L'Oreal, L'Oreal. Oh, L'Oreal Plaza. I still I still yeah. like that place because it's nostalgic for me. Like, yeah. and then you know I have a lot of friends um, who've moved away. And so they don't know the new DC and the yeah. new spots and stuff. So they always, when they come into town, they want to go there. And so I'm, I feel like I'm always going there because my friends who are coming into town always want to go That's what they want to go. Yeah, so I still like that spot. I'm sorry. I still like it. I mean, they um, have good margaritas. They do. And who doesn't like a good quesadilla? Like, yeah. Oh my. Yeah. I, I still like L'Oreal. Yeah. Um, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Yeah. Um, yeah. What else? And L'Oreal Plaza should be um, sponsored by right. us as well. Exactly. Exactly. Go ahead and follow them and let them know that you heard about it here. Yes. 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 <laughs> and there's there's some new spots I've been to that I've liked. Um, I can't remember their names. <laughs> no worries. The Bottomless. Um, yeah. And I remember yeah. there was this one spot that we went to here in D.C., and it was like a penny for the bottles of champagne. Do you remember Did we that? go there? Yeah, it was like Irish whiskey house or something like that. Oh, wow. And it was like... We've gone to a lot of... Oh, you know what? Now, I haven't been to the spot for brunch, but I really like the spot we went to a couple weekends ago when my friend came. Um, oh, um, um, El Teco. Yeah. That place... I, I think they have a brunch. I've never, I think I may have been for brunch. Um, but I love the ambiance and decor. The food was great. Yeah. The drinks were good. The service was great. The too. service was great. It was amazing. And hey, yeah. hey, Jay Rose. Love to see you. Our California friends are tuning in now. Yeah. Um, so we're talking about DC brunch spots because we are here with Brittany Madison Jordan, who is an attorney and bar certified fitness trainer. And she knows where to go here in DC because why? Because she's here making sure we're in our fitness and <laughs> wellness and health journey and we're doing what we're supposed to be doing. So we're talking about brunch spots because it is a staple when you're on your health journey to still do brunch. Like you have to do that. Yeah, so, definitely. Like you gotta go to brunch. Definitely. I mean, why Especially would you here in DC? Why would you not? Like, I mean, not every weekend, but as, you know. as many as you can go. Right. As much as possible. Yes. Just hydrate. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's please. very important. Please hydrate. I, I, I don't want to tell any stories about people not hydrating because that's not what we're going to do. No. But hydrate. Um, and then El Teco. Yeah. That's the place you should be going to. And then uh, I found a man in D.C. I got to visit. Oh. <laughs> hey. Girl. Do you tell do details. It. Put that in the <laughs> chat. Yes. We'll want to hear about this man in DC, and we'll tell you brunch places to go to as well. And also, uh, hey J Rose does strip aerobics. Oh, that's fun. I don't know why my hands did that. <laughs> super I guess it was a bowl. <laughs> I guess I was cleaning it. Right. <laughs> that's <laughs> fun for the next dancer. Yes. That's okay. Like yes. Get the tea. Okay. So back to back to bar fitness because yeah. again, I think a lot of people. Want to know more? Want to understand? Yeah. Um, how can they get like sort of like engaged in their own local communities? Is it like something that you can figure out like in in like your own like local community? Do you, mm -hmm. Is it like something you can find online? Is it something you can Google? Like, how did you stumble into it in DC? Yeah, it's funny. I like saw an ad on Instagram. Oh. Yeah, I saw an ad on Instagram. And like I was saying, I had been doing bar um, a lot uh, during my uh, recent pregnancy and, and after. And I was like, hey, why not? You know? Um, and it was actually held at um, a local black owned um, cycle studio in Tacoma Park called Ooh. Cycle, which um, shout out to them. They have an amazing um, fitness studio in Tacoma Park on the DC side. Um, it's a spin studio, and um, and I think they have they have bar classes as well. But oh, they nice. did the um, the certification was held there, and so um, so yeah, so that 
Um, so I, it was an Instagram ad. So there's always stuff popping up. There's a lot of um, opportunities for bar fitness in the DC area. There's stuff everywhere. And I'm gonna start um, hosting classes soon, probably this spring. So um, I'll definitely be putting some stuff out. <laughs> Cause I, I definitely want to come and like, yes. play, and then like, I don't know. So like, yeah. what's a combo? Like I just made something up. I don't know if you plie and then like roundhouse cake. I don't know. All of that. Okay. okay. It's, it's really um, up to the instructor how much ballet infusion they want to do. Um, for me, it's like half and half because the, the um, bar class that I like to teach is cardio bar because I like to really get the heart rate up. I mean, it's not like you're going to be feeling like you're in boot camp or anything, but it's just enough to kind of facilitate that burn. Um, and so I incorporate ballet, but it's not complex or too much. Um, but really, the ballet that I incorporate really is just good for posture. Um, and just to be mindful of, of our posture. Even now, I'm like, okay, be mindful of my posture. Yeah, yeah I'm like, um, I said you brought it up. <laughs> yeah, it's, I mean, all of that is, um, is helpful. Um, just in general, just in daily life and like support in your core. Yes. And um, people who may have chronic back problems could probably benefit from like a bar class because it's just really you know, lifting up like a string is lifting you up. Yes, um, supposed to be like this. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I incorporate ballet, but I also incorporate some more traditional cardio fitness movements. Okay. Um, again, to get the heart rate up, but then also doing some floor work with the Pilates piece and working Ooh. on the core, doing a, some yoga-ish. I'm by no means a yoga. Yogi. You're not. You're not a yogi. I'm not. Okay. Um, okay. But you can definitely borrow um, some elements from yoga. So downward dogs are happening. Yeah. Some yeah. balloons are going on. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Okay. And that's what I like about bar too. It's just a fusion of a lot of different stuff, and there's no rules. I love you know? that. So um, you just get in there. You just be like, come yeah. on, just twirl. Basically, I love a good twirl. You know yes. that. Yes. <laughs> Twirl and then plie and then like yeah. downward dog. I, listen, you're, wanna, you're ready to go. I want to do a bar class. Okay, so yeah. we're going to do her first bar class live. Okay, maybe not live. We may have to. We could do it live. I don't know. We, hold on. Hold on. I may have to do some more stretching first. I don't want to embarrass myself. Uh, you know, I'm clumsy. So <laughs> we'll see. But I definitely want to make sure that we amplify it so people know about it. Yeah. So, hey, J. Rose, when you come see your man here in D.C. and have brunch, you come out here and you be part of her bar class as yes. well. Bring your own pole, however. Bring, bring yeah, you can bring your own pole. I won't have a pole, but I, I'll help clean it because apparently that's what you do with a pole. I don't know what you do. Um, but yes. Maybe it could be like a, a hybrid, like a pole bar class. Because like I thought about the bar. That could be a thing. Now I wouldn't be able to teach the pole part. Um, I wouldn't be able to get a bonus. <coughs> but we can segue. Um, and have the pole person come yeah. and, and do that. And somebody can facilitate that. But that, I mean, let me just say, pole fitness is no joke. I know. You um, have to have some upper body strength. You got to have some major core upper body. I mean, the, that is an athletic... Um, That's an endeavor. It's you're in, Those are... <laughs> <laughs> they're athletes. athletes. They're athletes. Okay? I'm just like, like strong Jack. <laughs> they're athletes, and I'm here for it. Listen, so. I can barely do a push up <laughs> properly, and you are pulling your your yes, weights. I love it. Like circus du soleil. Go ahead. Yes. I just yes. go for it. Okay. We 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 stayed in that moment too long, so <laughs> we're gonna pop out of that. Um, <laughs> she said. I was gonna say one of my pole is so hard. It is. It is. It is not easy. I know. I commend you all for the courage. And then to do it in those shoes. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. We, we stayed too long. Coming back out. Okay, wait. Yeah. That's why I supplement with hot yoga bar. Oh, I and love hot yoga. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. Hot yoga 
Man, I I did a lot of hot yoga um, when I was preparing for one of my competitions. And woo, it's the truth. It's okay. the truth. Um, I kind of, after COVID and during COVID, I kind of fell back. Um, because it's like mask and hot and I can't, can't breathe. breathe. Yeah. Um, but now that things hopefully have kind of started to calm down, I don't know. Maybe they haven't. Um, but I think I'm starting to feel a little bit more comfortable with going back to okay. hot yoga. Maybe hot bar is a thing. Oh. Um, but anything with heat, heat activates everything. So like anything that you're you're adding heat. I mean, I'm here for that. It's okay. Awesome. So. Let's talk about it because you know where I'm going with it. <laughs> what about these edges? How do we how um, do we protect? If we're in heat, what a, what a, what a, what am I doing? I mean, what am I doing? That's a good question. Honestly, I I don't. When I'm like working on stuff, I don't care about my hair. I'll be honest. I I try to, and I think also for me, I don't sweat in my head very much. Mm -hmm. And one of the lucky ones. I sweat, but I don't really. Some people like their hair is drenched after a workout. That generally doesn't happen to me. Um, so as long as I like, if I'm rocking a you know a style kind of like this, I just do a high bun. Um, and I know some people who have like sweatbands that kind of help their edges. I don't fool with that because when yeah. I'm working out, I don't like to have yeah, stuff. like yeah. But I do know that that is that does help um, mm -hmm. a lot of women. But uh, but yeah, for me, I just do it up. If it ends up getting a little puffy, that's the style now. You know, like I mean, it's not. You don't really see a bunch of you know. I mean, sometimes you do, but it's okay to have a little bit of you know volume. Oh, yeah, a little these volume. Days. Yeah, yeah. So it doesn't have to be bone. Straight. It doesn't have to be bone straight. You know. Um, so because even today, this is not both straight. Let me tell you. Yeah, yeah. So you just embrace your natural texture. If it gets starts getting a little puffy, embrace it. Keep it moving. You know you're still being healthy. So I don't really get into the hair. I can't work out because of the hair thing. Because um, your yeah. health is more important. True. I was like, Ooh, but I, I get, get that heat. Like, I get it. I know on vacation I've been like, yeah. Whoa. Well, if you know, expected. if you know you're gonna be doing more like hot yoga stuff, I mean, maybe for a little bit you wear like a protective style and like, get some braids or something like that. <sighs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, here we go. We're gonna try hot yoga. Maybe that's something we we have an endure yeah. endeavor and we do. Um, scratches eyebrows. <laughs> oh God. Um, I'm here yeah. for it though, you know, 2023, brand new me, we're, we're going to go for it. Yeah. I want to be my healthiest self as well. Yeah. So I have great friends who are doing great things and they're getting their health together. So I'm, yes. I'm all along the journey with you all. So. Yes, I love it. <laughs> <It's> my yoga. <laughs> y'all, I'm nervous. I'm you would love it. I think you would. I have asthma too. I didn't know that. Yeah. I, I mean, never see you break out the inhaler. I never really need it. Um, the only time that I really need it is if I get sick, um, or like the air quality, like it's, oh. if it's like the summertime and the air quality is awful, I may need to break it out and do a, a puff or two on the side. Um, you want to go? Okay. <laughs> yeah, but okay. thankfully, so my asthma used to be really bad when I was a child. Like I used to have to do the nebulizer and the, oh. all of that. And the treatments at home. Yes. But as I got older, I kind of grew out of it. And so now it's more so like an induced, you know, status quo, I'm good, but something has to be introduced. It has to be it triggered. Ex yes, thank you. <laughs> I, I got you, I got you. Yeah. Okay, that's interesting, okay. Cause I feel like mine is similar now. Mm -hmm. And like, if I do an intense workout, then I'm like, hold on, let me, yeah. let me just go in just in case. Yeah. You know, just let me hit it real quick. Yeah. And I'll be fine. Definitely. Um, just because I live alone and we don't need no issues. <laughs> I feel you. So no problems. Okay. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna do this. We're gonna Yes. We're gonna have our first class of bar fitness this spring, where she's been instructed. I'm so excited. Yes. Maybe we do a rooftop one. I don't know. That could be fun. With rose at the end, because I do work out a rose. Yes. 
So there's that. And then some hot yoga. Yes. I'm, I'm feeling this. And then yes. KJ Rose is gonna come in with her boo and uh do some pole dancing. I'm not mad at it. That's, <laughs> that's a fun filled spring. Yes. Oh, and what are we sipping on? So would you like to tell people what you're sipping on? I'm sipping on um, some wonderful sparkling water. <laughs> um, not drinking tonight, but you know. Hey, yeah. Every day can't be Friday. Every right? day can't be Friday. It's, it, it, it's Friday for me. So yes. I'm drinking Wither Hills uh, from New Zealand. They're rose and Pinot Noir in 2018. Um, oh, it's good. Yeah, I, I mean, I'll save you some with your room too. Yeah. So it's very nice, it's delicious. I love it, love it, love it. It's delicious. And that's all me. Right there. It looks really good. So, yeah, I'm a little <laughs> happy. <laughs> Yeah, that looks, yeah, you have to save that. Yeah, no worries. Next time. Next time. I got you next time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You got goals here. Yeah. I have dreams. <laughs> oh, That's please. the difference. <laughs> no, you're, you look fabulous, by the thank way. You. You've put in a lot of hard work. That I have. That is not going unnoticed. Thank so. you, thank you. We have lost 67 pounds since the podcast has started. So. That's awesome. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Wow. Well, 67 more to go. <laughs> I know. You'll be, you won't even be the podcast. You'll be invisible and disappear. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> right. I do want to be uh, a little bit more healthier. So yeah. more I'm more to come that. on that. But yes, yeah. uh, thankful, grateful. But Brittany, how can people like follow you, connect with you about this bar fitness if they want to learn more? Sure. So I'm on IG. Um, B underscore Matt underscore. Yes, be mad, y'all. Yes. Um, play on my my former your um, maiden name. Maiden name. Um, so yes, B underscore Matt underscore. Um, that's where you can find me. And then you could get barred with who's barred twice. Yes, she's <laughs> barred. <laughs> yes. And of course, we want to thank you all for joining us today. Um, thank you, Brittany, for being here. Yes. This has been so much fun. Um, I'm, I'm happy you are sober. Yes. I am not. Tonight. <laughs> right, Tonight. Now, just imagine what this is like. When so, there. listen, I I would love to have a glass of rosé, but I didn't tell you, too, because we were trying to get this thing started, but I'm going, I have, like, a 6 a.m. flight. Oh, in so, the so, bye, so. y'all. <laughs> Thank you so much, and we'll be back next week as we kick off Black History Month, um, and we have an amazing guest. Lovely Wines will be here, so Black All Wine Maker. Yes. Yay! So she can get her flight at 6 a.m., so Bye. there's that. Bye, guys!